In this short video series, we're going to be talking about copywriting so you can discover how to be a successful copywriter. Copywriting can mean the difference between a profitable, profitable business and an unprofitable business. Basically, without good copy that sells your product or services or sells people on your affiliate program, you cannot make money online if you get traffic but no conversions. They all have to work together. You have to get traffic and conversions. Without good copywriting, it is very hard to sell your products and services online and even difficult to sell affiliate products. If there's no incentive for people to buy or nothing that triggers a need to buy something online, then they're not going to buy from you and therefore you're not going to make money. It's plain and simple as that and that's why copywriting is so important to understand. There are two elements any business must have to, to succeed online and that is both traffic and conversion. But copy plays an enormous role in the conversion process because it's one thing to get all the traffic in the world but if that traffic that cannot convert because of poor copy or poor laid out sales pages or, or poor laid out content then it is going to be very difficult for you to remain in business for very long. Any real serious marker marketer should study how to become a better copywriter no matter what niche it is even if you're a traffic generation expert that would be the best thing you could also next focus on is understanding the basics of copywriting and how you can be a more effective copywriter so that whenever you're writing new content pieces you're constantly thinking about how it's going to sit with other people as you write it how it's going to sit in their minds and how it could trigger their emotions that might cause them to purchase something so that's a short little overview of copywriting and why it's so important. Now here's some benefits of copywriting. Being good at copywriting can help you in multiple ways. It allows you to sell more of your very own products. So this means if you have your own website where you're selling physical goods or maybe you have your own website where you are happen to be selling uh, e informational products or maybe you're doing mail direct mail campaigns to sell uh, physical reports or DVDs basically being a good copywriter can help you in many different ways and that includes selling your own products you can make more money on the products that you're selling by even just improving so maybe you have a, a product already out there that is converting but you need you want to make more money so you could go and leverage you know and get more traffic which that's always a good thing but the best thing you could do is work on increasing the conversions first and then go get more traffic because what would happen then is if you get more traffic and you get the conversions up you would get a lot more sales um, whereas if you just went out and just got more traffic for the sake of just getting more sales just because of traffic then you know you're just working really really hard when in fact if you're gonna work hard to drive traffic you may as well make sure you've optimized you know the complete benefit so the great thing about copywriting things is sometimes little changes can make a huge subtle difference we'll talk about some areas where little changes can make a key difference for you copywriting benefits uh, you know copywriting can also help you sell more resale rights and private label rights products so this basically means products that you buy the rights to that you don't spend a lot of time creating but it gives you an opportunity to actually create better copy maybe than what was provided it gives you a chance to rewrite your own sales letter so then the product that you're promoting looks a little bit different than what everybody else out there might be promoting and oftentimes not everybody promotes those products but anything you can do to give yourself a leg up when you buy private label rights products will be huge because that means more money in your pocket once you understand the keys to copywriting you'll see maybe some of the flaws in some of the private label rights product copy it enables you to write more compelling email copy which encourages higher affiliate commissions or increased sales so that's exactly what copywriting does because it enables you to write more compelling email copy and this in turn encourages higher affiliate commissions or increased sales so I can't say that enough um, a lot of times when you are sending out you know email campaigns to your list or or whatnot to generate affiliate commissions or get people to opt into another list or get people to maybe buy your own product um, copywriting translates into how you write the email so you encourage people to take action and with an email the action is to, to click on what you have to offer and then you have copy on that page that sells them on what you have to offer so copywriting works in more than one way it allows you to set yourself apart from the competition and be a dynamite affiliate marketer. There's a lot of people out there just, you know, just promoting, you know, maybe template type affiliate programs and, 
they're just you know they're, they're writing just plain Jane things but they do a good job of making money well you can really set yourself apart and really blow the cover off things by really having some good copy that really plays on the emotions of people because that's important with copy and we'll talk on that and what it's going to do for you when you start playing on those emotions is give you an opportunity to increase people's click-through rates which then in turn will increase your sales it also can give you another stream of solid income as you can write copy for other online marketers so as you learn copy not only will it help increase your profits and sales with your own business but it also can give you another side income as well that could become quite lucrative because you could make you know charge several thousand dollars for one sales letter if you can get good at copywriting and, and converting then you could actually turn around and make some good money uh, as a copywriter you know as as selling your service to other marketers and so you can make a great side income being a good copywriter so here's a little bit more about copywriting copy is a very specialized form of writing where you engage the reader and cause them to think about specific situations and finally it motivates them to take action at the end so it's it's again it's not just article writing it's not something basic like that uh, it's a specialized form of writing and you want to engage the reader so you want the re person reading the copy to be engaged in it to be looking at the copy and saying you know this is what I could um, you know possibly improve upon or or you know this is something that you know I need help with so it makes the reader start thinking and engages them with what you're writing about whatever uh, you're trying to sell them. You want to cause them to think about situations, um, you know, play on their emotions, and then you want to motivate them to take action of some sort. You want to make them feel so compelled that they're ready to buy, sign up for the list, uh, take the survey, whatever it is you're trying to get them to do that will help you benefit. Um, you want them to be motivated at the end of it. Copywriting is a basic, uh, more sophisticated way to communicate with with potential buyers of a product or service you know so it's not just you know like a standard old phone call or something like that where old business used to be done it's a you know just a basic way to communicate with your buyers and tell them what you have to offer why your product and service are the best and why they can't live without you everything that is marketed has copy of some sort behind it whether it's even even if it's TV commercials or commercials on YouTube there is copy involved on the PowerPoint slides, you know that they maybe make to create the video. Or power, there is copy involved with the words that are said. You know, it's typed out first, or maybe there's copy involved in what uh, words show up on the screen. So, um, basically, you know, written copy, physical products, digital products, whatever it is, everything is marketed with copy of some sort. You don't just see, you know, you won't typically see a blank sales page that says buy this you know with the with a button on it now there are some marketers that that say stuff like that in their copy but they're still by just saying the buy this and all that they're using copy and they've used copywriting in the past to get their list to respond just like that but you're not gonna see just a, ver a blank sales page ever sell anything when it's just blank and has no text and just has a buy now button or you just have an opt-in form on a page random page with no opt-in box people wanna know what they're getting for for what they're spending what they're giving up whether it's their information or a little bit of money um, but everything that is marketed has copy of some sort behind it so that's why it's so important that you master this copy can be focused on both regular people and also on businesses in the business to business market so not only do you use copy to market you know and good copy principles to market to you know just your regular person but also if you're trying to sell your services or sell your product to other businesses it works great in business to business markets and relationships another component of good copywriting is triggering emotions consumers make purchasing decisions based on facts and emotions but most of the time the emotions dominate the decision that they are making so you know think back to um, you know the last time you got emotional about something that happened it really can make you you know want to buy something you want to feel uh, you want to get your readers to end up feeling um, you know an emotion of some sort whether it's anger whether it's frustration you know like let's say they're they're frustrated because they can't lose weight and so you're going to play on that emotion of frustration to get them to realize they need that product they need what you're offering them so they can get 
their weight or their, or their diet back on track. Um, maybe it's, you know, they're struggling it over and over again to make money online, but you offer a good step-by-step -step system that if they follow will work. So you want to play on that emotion, you know, so maybe they're upset because of um, a situation that a family member is going through, but you have an ebook that can help them through that time. So it's all about um, emotions and how it can help them. To be an effective copywriter, you need to focus on triggering those emotions and making that result in the action you want them to take, like buying, opting in, etc. So that's the key, a really key part you want to take away from this is you want people to, um, you want to play on whatever emotion they might be feeling. So that's an important step before you write your copies. You need to understand what your target audience's emotion is, what's going to trigger an emotion that's going to make them want to buy. Why are they looking for your product or service? Is it frustration? Is it anger? Is it is it sadness? Is it uh, despair? Is it desperation? Is it a job loss? What is their emotion and how can you heal their pain? And you want to play on that emotion and get them to take action in the letter. And if you can do that, you're going to be very effective as a copywriter. You also want to look at things like you know words, word placement, facts, and the tone really will help trigger the emotion. So wherever you put words, whatever words you use, type of words, how they're used in context, you know facts, you know that facts that talk that maybe make them more frustrated. You know facts that 98% of online businesses might fail. You know stuff like that without this information make them feel like well that's not going to be me. Um, you know the tone of the email, whether it's kind, whether it's just straightforward and open, whatever those emotions are, you want to work on triggering those emotions. And in the following videos, we're going to cover a few more ways that you can be a better copywriter.